You are the chosen one. Well, I guess that's the end, huh? No more Fallout 3. The lone wanderer, Cynthia, is just gonna sit here in this little easy chair in her power armor for the rest of her life, telling stories of her exploits, but no! No, that is not the case, because the Wasteland still faces countless threats from DLC! Dun dun dun! But before we do that, there's another thing I want to get to, which is something that I didn't really touch on during the regular playthrough stuff. And that is crafted items. Um, crafted items are a very beloved feature of Fallout 3 that I don't usually make much use of, except for a few of them, like the uh, dart gun. But um, I'll, I'll get into more of exactly why that is as I create each one of them. Um, basically, you find components throughout the wasteland, and also schematics for those components, and then you make them at workbenches. Uh, you've seen that already a bit with bottle cap mines, or at least um, uh, Moira told us about them. Now, schematics work in kind of a funny way. Um, for items that you, like, shoot and such, um, there's a robot coming towards the camera, and it's making it sort of hard to... Well, anyway, uh, the more schematics that you get um, for shooty things, uh, they, um, they increase the repairedness of it. For me, because I already have 100% repair, um, repair skill, I only need two of them to get the full benefits. Um, if you have three schematics of a shooty gun type deal, uh, it is repaired to 125% of your repair skill. And since, yeah, I'm at tops, there's no use for that. But for explodey things, such as the nuku grenade and the bottle cap mine, the more schematics you get, the more uh, end products you get from um, making them. Which doesn't really make sense, because you can only make one bottle cap mine out of one lunchbox, theoretically. But, whatever. It's just how the game works. And so, I will, for the next little while, be trying to get two schematics for each of the guns. And, or, or they're not actually, all of them are guns, and now that I think about it. But, two schematics for each of the weapons, and three schematics for each of the explodey things, which, it's since I have... You alive and well, Shut up, Adam. Wadsworth. Well, it's good to see Get your claw out of my view there. There's the boom mic coming in to ruin the shot. Well, whatever. Um, that's what I'll be doing. Um, I'll be trying to get... Um, I'll be trying to collect it's things, basically. You alive and well, Shut up! Well, it's good to see you anyway. Ugh. I almost want to kill that thing now. Um, I'll be trying to collect things, and you won't be seeing most of that, uh, because who wants to watch me collect stuff? You'll just be seeing clips of it. And that's, um, that's what is going to happen. Enjoy. Okay, so as you can see here from this crafting bench menu thingly, um, we already have a schematic for a bottle cap mine and for the shish kebab, which is like a thing I'll show you. But um, we only have one of each, meaning that this um, shish kebab would be at like, I think it's like 50-60% uh, uh, um, damage. So, um, we don't really want that, so we're not going to bother crafting it now. Plus, we don't have any of the parts. And, um, bottle cap mine, for all the parts for a bottle cap mine, we'd only get one bottle cap mine. And that's just one bottle cap mine. So that's kind of sad. So we're not going to bother with that now. But that's what we've got. And what we are going to get is more than that. Somewhat more than that, yeah. 
Okay, so as it turns out, um, behind us that whole time I was talking about that thing is one of the people that you get one of the things from. Um, namely, the rocket launcher, which is down here. Uh, it's quite pricey at a, over a thousand caps, but luckily since, um, since I've been doing all of this collecting and things, I'm actually loaded. So I can just buy this from her. And that creates... Good hunting! See ya! That creates a gun... Oh, and your um, things, your schematics are stored in here. That creates a big gun that isn't very accurate, that shoots anything you can pick up lying around. And uses a vacuum cleaner, leaf blower, fire hose nozzle, conductor. Um, but right now, it, uh, it wouldn't be very good because it's only partially repaired. So we need to find another one. And, um, looking at my list here, um, let's see, uh, we can find one of those. Oh, right. I forgot to mention there's, um, something to sell? or I skipped over in Vault 101, um, the framed quote of Revelations 21.6 has uh, a safe behind it that you can lockpick, and it has one of those in it. But um, the only other one besides that, and besides the one in the Rivet City Armory, which we don't want to break into because we're good guys, uh, is sold by Crazy Wolfgang, who is a traveling merchant who we're going to have to track down. A lot of them are sold by merchants. Um, and, and in fact, pretty much every one of them, uh, one um, thing of them is sold by a merchant somewhere. So, we'll go track that guy down. Or I will, and you'll be sitting there and see a, probably a jump cut. Found him! He's here, and he's crazy. Yes. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's Traveling Junk Store. The Depot of Detritus, the Shop of Slop, and the Caravan of Crap. Now, what odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolfgangs, offer to you? Ha 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 ha! He's so crazy! I'm here to buy! Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and crap. Here we go! Rocket launcher! Huh, for the same price as, as uh, um, Moira. Alright. Alright. Give me a shout if you need anything else. See you out on the road, huh? Now, we can craft it. Except we don't have the parts. So, we're going to get the parts, and then we're going to craft it. Where are we going to get the parts? I don't know. We'll find them. Or I will. And you'll see another cut. Because who wants to see me running around scavenging for pieces of junk? Nobody does. Bye now. Okay, so... Conductor, fire hose nozzle, leaf blower, vacuum cleaner. By your powers combined, I am Rocket Launcher. And let's see what that looks like. I haven't used this in forever. Um, there you are. Wow. Wow, look at that. Look at that stupid thing. Let's go fire it at something. Yao Guai. Okay, okay Yao Guai. Bring it on! I've got a big thing thing type deal. It's not accurate, so I gotta, gotta be close. But that's... What do you say? Well, that's not actually very good, except that you don't need ammo for it. Exactly. Well, in a way, I mean. 
In a way, you do need ammo for it because you need pieces of junk to stick in it. But, in another way, you, um, can pick up the ammo that, uh, you use. Get out of there, pre-war money. Um, you can pick up that ammo and use it again and again. And apparently it never breaks, even though it's being launched at high speeds out of a thing. But, this weapon only does 38 damage. So, that's kind of not as good as it probably could be. Eh. Well, it, it's as good as it can be, you know, but it's, it's not, it's not very good. It's not the gun that I would want to use all of the time. You could, you can get a lot of use out of it, but I'm not going to carry it around all the time, what with as heavy it, as it is. Hey, look, there's like this crashed boat with crates and stuff. I wonder if it might have some other stuff I can use. Yeah, but it, it's tin cans everywhere. I've noticed there, there are actually like lots and lots of tin cans. Straight ones and bent ones. And stuff like that, just sitting around, is what really makes this gun good. And, um... So, if you have, for some reason, have trouble finding ammo in this game, where ammo is extremely plentiful and weighs nothing, then this is a good gun for you to use. But, if you don't have that problem, which you probably don't, it's not really that good, it's just a novelty, really. Uh, man, weight limits. Um... Yep, see you guys around.